Hey guys, this is Ruroni K95 here, and welcome to the 2022 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at, at some movies that were released between 1999 and, and to 2000s, because I want to showcase them on here with these genres. Some action, some horror, some comedy on there, and there's also some drama. And there's also some anime on there, if you guys want to check that this, watch, if you're watching the video, though, especially because I'm going through movies by genres, because I'm starting getting into the, going through the movies and DVDs, started by going through genres, because I have been getting my knowledge of going through titles by genre, that's why. So let's dive right into this, today, on the Physical Media Video Library Series... Welcome back. At this point, though, because I have some other movies that I plan for, for the movie genres on there. Like those right there, because we're going to be taking a look at those Tuesday and Wednesday, because I got them planned. That's why. Because I have a feeling that I'm going to be doing more things I can cover in a whole... doing it by faster things as well. So today... We're going to be showcasing some movies on here for the examples of movies that were released in the late 90s and the early 2000s. Especially like these ones. Which we're going to be showcasing them for movies that were part of the late 90s and early 2000s. Because I have a feel we're going to be doing that. He's wondering right now. Okay, so we're gonna be showcasing some movies that were released in between 1999 and the 2000 in 2000 because it's the late 90s and early 2000s. That's why, especially in movies in general, especially though. So without any further ado, let's begin. The first movie here I got here for this video for today. And I think this is the one on this deluxe edition, and that is Stuart Little. And yes, this is the DVD I have here, which I think this has all the extras on here. And this is presented in full screen presentation on here. There's some director's commentary, deleted scenes, and, and this also has the supervisor's commentary and the visual effects supervisor's commentary all on this DVD-based content like this one. In case you're wondering, though. And another movie that I have here on DVD, which is basically a must for if you've ever been starting a DVD or Blu ray collection, and that is Fantasia 2000. And yes, this is basically the 2000 DVD release on here. However, this DVD has all, some audio commentaries on there, and this has the making of, and there's a this also includes the special commemorative booklet on DVD, on this one particularly. This one also did got a Blu-ray release not too many moons ago, back in 2010. And another movie that I have here that I got at a book sale, and I think this is part of the, and this is the only M. Night Shyamalan movie I have on DVD thus far, though, which I think this is part of the collector's edition series I have here, and that is... The Sixth Sense. And yes, this is basically my first M. Night Shyamalan movie I have ever bought on DVD. Yeah. And this is basically how I wanted to come by for this one as well. There's This one also did came with a booklet like this. Yeah, I like that. There's only 19 chapters on this one as well. Yeah, because... No wonder why I had to get this movie, because I I have a feeling particularly that this is my first M. Night Shyamalan movie I have oh, got. Because I thought this is 
a movie I might plan on watching at this point. And another movie that I have here on DVD, which is part of the special edition ones on here, and that is The Iron Giant. This is an instant classic movie, by the way. And this is directed by Brad Bird on here. And this is basically how I wanted to come by for a movie like this on here. This has some... This has the feature-length commentary by director Brad Bird, and there's a lot of these extras on this DVD-based content, especially for this one. However, this movie also did got a Blu-ray release, which is part of the signature... The version of this one... This is the theatrical version of this DVD. However, there is also the signature edition of The Iron Giant available on Blu-ray, because... One of these days, I might pick up the Signature Edition on Blu-ray at this point, because... Why not? Because I love upgrading to Blu-rays, that's why. And another... A comedy movie from the 90s, which I consider to be my favorite here, and this is from New Line Cinema on there, which is part of the New Line Platinum series. This one here I have is... Detroit Rock City. This is basically my favorite movie from the 90s on there, because, in my opinion, though, Detroit Rock City is my all-time favorite comedy from the 90s on there, because this is directed by Adam Rifkin on there. Yeah. And this stars Edward Furlong, who is known for American History X and Terminator 2 on this movie on there. This DVD has... The feature-length audio commentaries on there, and this has Learn to Play Rock and Roll All Night on the guitar from Song Express, and this has more than 15 minutes of deleted scenes on here, and this also has, these These are the extras on this DVD-based content, and this also has two music videos, and this has the DVD ROM features, which it has the script to screen, watch the film while you read the script on this DVD-ROM feature as well. Detroit Rock City also did got a Blu-ray release, but it's out. Of, the Blu-ray release is out of print, but it's just how it is, though. Hopefully, they will get a 4K Ultra HD release for a, a Blu-ray, or a 4K Ultra HD release, or better yet, like a DVD-Blu-ray combo Oh, for the film Detroit Rock City should be get. We'll see about this when that goes. And another movie that I have here on DVD as well, because this is basically from the 90s, and that is Toy Story 2. This is the follow-up to the first Toy Story movie on DVD, by the way. This has the extras on here. This is presented in definitive picture and on sound experience on here. This has some deleted scenes on there, and there's some outtakes, which is all on this DVD-based content as well. By the way, this is the 2005 DVD release, which is the two-disc special edition version on there. However, this one also did got a Blu-ray release as well, in case you're wondering as well. And a Japanese movie that I have right here, especially this is the one here, and that is, that I got when I was at... Suncoast video back in like 2000 or 1 or is it 2002? Maybe it was 2002 and that is Godzilla 2000 on VHS. I don't have the slip cover to this by the way. However, I'm going to show you that this particularly though is that this one partic is basically a 2000 this VHS was released in 2000 on there. However, this m version the, the movie of Godzilla 2000 did got a DVD release, but it, it never added the Japanese audio language track, which was supposed to be added in the DVD, because, which I think that was pretty sticky on there. However, this one also did got a Blu-ray release, which it also includes the original Japanese language track on there, in case you're wondering as well, because I had to um, buy for that. And another movie that I have here on DVD, which is part of the 2000s on there, as how I got, and that is the one that when I was at the library book sale, in case you're wondering why, 
That's how I wanted to come by for this, and that is The Matrix. Yes, this is basically the first m movie I have ever bought thus far. According, or I have ever bought. Yeah, because this is the first time I wanted to buy The Matrix on DVD. Because why not? This is basically directed by the Wachowski brothers on there. And yes, this is basically in its own little snapper case on their DVD. They don't make these snapper case DVDs as much as they thought they were used to. And yes, this has the music audio only audio track com with commentary by Don Davis. And there's a lot of these extras on this DVD based content. And this has theatrical trailer sampler from other films on there, which is what we have here. Yeah, because I never knew this has some more on there. And this is a only this is the one I have here, basically on DVD. Because this only has like 38 chapters. I have there. However, this movie also did got a Blu-ray release on there in like some like re regular cases or the ones with these steelbook those steelbook edition ones. This DVD has some web events and the chat room access. The exclusive chat room with celebrity guests and other special events on this DVD because I never knew it has it. That's why. And finally, the last movie for 1999, because we're going in the 2000s as well. Because I'm basically devoted exclusively, though, as well. And this movie I have here on DVD, and that is... Fight Club. What can I say? Because the Fight Club... I really loved it, because this DVD has some of the extras on here, and this has the audio commentary on there on this one as well, especially the director's commentary on there, and the writer's commentary, and the technical commentary. These are the three t commentaries on this DVD added as well. And yet, this is presented in anamorphic widescreen. If you watch this on a flat screen TV, because I think that makes a better way if you could watch this movie on a flat screen on here as well. Yeah, this is a 2002 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment release, by the way. Yeah, because it's now called 20th Century Studios as well. And this is the one that I have here on DVD, which is ha has the digitally mastered THX for superior sound and picture quality, especially on there. Wow, I never knew this has the digitally mastered on here, because I have every feel for a movie like that I own on DVD that has these THX logos as well. Yeah, as for anime though, because I don't have Jinro the Wolf Brigade, I really want to get Jinro the Wolf Brigade on DVD, because, and all same goes with um, my neighbors, the Yamadas, and Revolutionary Girl Utena, the movie. Those are the three anime movies released in 1999. But don't worry, I will be getting those someday at this point, though. And another movie that I have here on DVD, which I have, and that is My Dog Skip, which I have already shown you before on my previous video oh, 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 a while back. Okay, again, if you want to look at some more videos to watch on these DVD and Blu-ray collection library videos that are part of the physical media video library series because be sure to check out my playlist because I have done a lot of videos of those a while back because I have a feeling because I'm start getting into knowing the movies by genres as well including some anime movies TV series and some OVAs that I have here on VHS DVD and Blu-ray as well. 
which follows up into the, the genre under movies in general I have accordingly. And uh, another movie I have here from the 2000s I have here on DVD, and that is The Emperor's New Groove, which I have already shown you before also as well. And another... Finally, a movie that I have here on DVD that I got at a book sale. Here I have is The Perfect Storm. This is directed by Wolfgang Peterson as well. The music is composed by James Horner in that movie as well. And yet, this DVD has some three behind-the-scenes documentaries and three feature-length filmmaker commentaries on there. And this has the photo montage on there. All on this DVD-based content on here. And yes, this is another DVD I have here in these snapper cases on there. And this has only got, like, I believe it has 39 chapters. I didn't know that until now. Yeah, this is a thriller movie, by the way. Because I had to get this DVD in as well. And another movie that I considered to be my favorite that I got on DVD, which is my all-time favorites, and that is Remember the Titans. I love this movie. I remember watching this movie back in high school during movie day, back in like 2009 when I was starting high school, back in 2009. I never knew about this movie when I saw it, I really loved it because this has some efforts on there. Yeah, this is basically my favorite Denzel Washington movie, though. Yeah, this is how I got this movie on DVD. That's why. And yet, this is how it's very common, though, is that. Oh, sorry, had the disc. This basically also has this little booklet thing on here, which I think this only has like 32 chapters on this DVD. Yeah, because I love this movie. This is only like a dollar when I got this at a library book sale. This has some two audio commentaries on there, and this has some exclusive featurettes, and there's a lot more on this DVD-based content. And this is presented by 16x9 widescreen television format, which is enhanced for 16x9 television if you want to watch this movie on a flat screen, particularly. Yeah. Yeah, because I had to get this DVD, that's why. And another movie I have here on DVD as well that I have, which is from Robert Zemeckis, and that is Castaway. Yeah, I, I saw this movie because I really love this a lot as well. Yeah, because this is basically it has its moments though, but overall, pretty good movie. This has a commentary by Robert Zemeckis and crew on this DVD. On this DVD-based content for a movie like this. Yeah. Because I had to, to watch this movie though. In case you're wondering as well. And finally, some horror movies from the 2000s. And this is basically my the one I have here on DVD, and that is American Psycho. Yeah, this is the only Universal Home Entertainment release on DVD of how this was made in conjunction with Lionsgate films on there. Yeah, because this is for a while how I wanted to discover about this particularly and yet because this was only like a dollar at a library book sale as well in case you're wondering why because it was cheap that's why yeah because I had to get this movie by the way on DVD this one has interview with Christian Bale and this has the featurette on the making of, and production notes, and the cast of filmmakers, and the actual trailer. But that was it on this DVD extras content for this one. And this is a 2000 
Universal Home Entertainment release on DVD. Yeah, because I wanted to get this DVD. And the version of this I own is presented in anamorphic widescreen format as well. In case you're wondering why I had to do this. And finally, to the anime, once again here, I have is this one I got on DVD, and that is Blood the Last Vampire. This is basically my, my favorite anime movie on there, and this is presented in 16x9 anamorphic digital transfer on this one, and this has the original Japanese trailers, and this has the making of... <sighs> Sorry. And this has the image gallery on there. And there's previews for other titles from Manga Video on there as well. Because I didn't know it has it. Yeah, Protoculture Addicts calls this film a true masterpiece on there. Because Anime News Network said it was a, about this film was absolutely astounding. And yet, because... I expect to how I wanted to get this DVD because why not? Because I wanted to get this movie. Because I think this is part of the 2000s on here. And another anime movie I have here on DVD that I got here when I was at the yard sale when I wanted to buy this DVD as how, and that is Street Fighter Alpha the movie. This is more different from Street Fighter 2 the animated movie although I do have Street Fighter 2 the animated movie on DVD if you want to check them check it out in, in my previous video be sure to go check out my previous video at your leisure though and yet yeah, this is basically of how I wanted to come by for this one though is that this one includes a booklet like this which I have right here which I didn't know it noticed. Because on the back, there's just like these character designs on there. Like you see out there. <sighs> Sorry. There's only 14 chapters on the scene selections on there. And yet, there's some screenshots from the, the anime film on there. Yeah. Yeah, because... I like Street Fighter 2, the animated movie, more, but this one I thought it was a, was pretty good, though. Yeah, because it's one of those I really have to re-watch, particularly. I mean, it's been a while since I watched it, but I haven't remembered it as well. But I can put this under my list of ones I can re-watch at this point. And finally, at last, this is the one here I have on DVD, and that is Vampire Hunter D. Bloodlust. This is an outstanding film, anime film on DVD. And this was directed by Yoshiaka, Yoshiaki Kawajiri, who recently worked on Wicked City, Demon City Shinjuku, and Ninja Scroll, which I, ironically, Ninja Scroll is the more iconic film as well. However, this is the only anime film that was in, like, reverse of how this goes. Yeah, this was only dubbed in English on this DVD from what set Urban Vision Entertainment had. It's sort of like in a reverse order of how I have been wanting to explain about this. However, this comes in a slipcover like this. Here's the DVD as well. So for the thing about the how it's only dubbed in English on here. It is anime, but it was dubbed in English. Because I'm giving the little interesting fact about this film, though. It was later dubbed into Japanese. Just because this anime film was first dubbed in English, and then it was later dubbed in Japanese, but with English subtitles on there. Kind of interesting, though. Yeah, because I wanted to give it some interesting fat. <sighs> yeah. This is the... The version I own is the Urban Vision Entertainment release on there. 
because this DVD has some special features, such as behind-the-scenes featurette, storyboard to feature comparison, fans' favorite picks, merchandise, and there's pre titles for other anime from Urban Vision Entertainment. And this also includes theatrical trailers and TV spots, all on this DVD-based content. And this is presented by Anamorphic Widescreen, and it's remastered for Home Theater 5.1 audio on 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 there because once you open this up, oh, sorry, I almost dropped that. Oh, this has an ad for the mer the action figures for Vampire Hunter D on there, which I didn't know it has one. It says, "When darkness falls, the hunt begins." Vampire Hunter D, Bloodlust, coming this summer, 7-inch action figures and a 12-inch action doll. Wow, because they put out these merchandise, which I didn't know it has it. And this has a booklet. There's only 20 chapters on this one. And you open this up, there's a preview for, uh, for the ones also available. But there's the only ones I have are on DVD, a uh, Blu-ray, like the original Vampire Hunter D. I have it on Blu-ray, though. It's from Sentai Filmworks. I do have it on VHS with the original English dub from Streamline Pictures. It's also on the DVD from the old Arab Vision Entertainment release from Streamline Pictures. And oh my gosh, there's other ones I want to get like Biohunter, Wicked City, Pet Shop Horrors, Goku Midnight Eye. Yeah, that's the one I wanted to get. It's like Gogo 13 as well as Psycho Driver. However, Urban Vision also did got Space Adventure Cobra, the movie, but it was only on VHS but not on DVD. However, Discotech Media has rescued has licensed it, by the way, though. That's why. So that's pretty much it for the anime though. In case you're wondering why I had to do this. Okay. So that's going to be it for my video here for the 2022 edition of my DVD and Blu-ray collection library video series for today, you guys. Thank you for watching, but before we go, here's what I'm going to say for this one. Well, I have wanted to cover this video because I want to showcasing movies, including some anime that were released in 1999 and 2000. So I think that's the examples of late 90s, early 2000s on there. As well as some movies in general, as well, because I want to showcase them to you, that's why. Because I've always wanted to discover this. I wanted to do that, as well. Whether our hobbies and passions, that's why. Hope subscribe for content, my anime plan, link in the description down below. You share this video on your Twitter, Facebook, if you have Twitter and Facebook account, and all social media. If you want to check out my anime planet, Anime Planet Patreon links will be in the description down below if you want to check them out. If you want to check out my Anime Planet, because I have a backlog of manga and anime on my Anime Planet account, Patreon and, and the Patreon um, link, though they're going to be in this, they will be in the description down below. And also, be sure to smack the like button if you enjoy this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments in the comments section below. Let me know what you think of this as well. Let me know. And also, be sure to click on the subscribe button. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RuroniK95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel as a newcomer. If you haven't been watching the channel, though, especially because I've been start getting into how I've been going through to do this as well. And also, smack the notifications bell button. Be sure to get notified also as well for more latest updates on here because I have some exciting latest ones as well and that's all I have what I got for the for today though well because I wanted to do this video that's why this is Ruroni K95 saying thank you for watching my video and I'm glad you liked it hope you enjoy it hope to see you soon for the next video hope you have a great day this is Ruroni K95 signing off and thank you for watching my video and I will see you soon for more videos take care bye